Yeah, hi everyone. Jenny asked here in this YouTube comment, I want to automatically populate a sequence in Premiere using a spreadsheet that lists my chosen clips in order. Can I do this with automation blocks? Yes, you can. I just created this little script for you. This is really the entire code uh, you need for this. And this tool has uh, an input here. Here you choose your CSV file, your spreadsheet file. In my case, this spreadsheet looks like this. I've just here three entries in the first columns, and those list the full file path to the file you want to insert in the sequence, and it will insert all these and all these files into your active sequence. So the one we currently have uh, active here. You can see my project only has the sequence currently and nothing else. And if I run the tool, it inserted these three footage items uh, that I listed in the spreadsheet file and it put all those files, it imported the files here in the folder footage. Let me quickly show you the code. So first we have a variable footage project bin. This is the footage bin where you want your footage to be imported to. This is set here to footage, you can insert, insert here any other uh, text if you want this folder to be named differently. And then it loops over our spreadsheet. The spreadsheet that it loops over is taken from this input. So this red block here creates this input. Um, and then it takes from the spreadsheet, from cell A, the file footage path. And right? everything else is ignored. We don't need the second cell or any other. Actually, we could remove here the second cell also. Now it might look a little bit more compact. So it loops over each row of the spreadsheet from the spreadsheet from our input and just takes from cell A the file footage path. So this means look here only at column A. And then it imports the file with this file footage path. And so this uh, file footage path is, is this one here, right? And it imports into the project bin proj footage project bin. This is the one we specified over here. So it takes the file from the spreadsheet and imports it into this bin. And after that, we add a project item to track one of the active sequence. If you want it to be not in the first track, but in the second track, you can just change this here. And uh, which item does it import? Well, in for this item, it would need to import the file, uh, the project item footage backslash 0002.mts. Yeah, this is uh, the path for this item here in the project. And we create this by saying, First take the footage project bin, then add a backslash, and then take from our file path, which was here this entire file path here, just take the file name itself. So just like this part here. This is what's happening here. So take from the footage file path only the file name itself and append it to the, pro to the bin in which it is. This gives you the full project item pass of the respective item and it inserts it in the sequence here. And if you would run the tool now a second time, it would append the clips again at the end. It's always appending at the end of the sequence, right? Let me run the script again. You can see it inserted the, 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 the clips a second time and this time in um, V2. And of course, if you change anything here, Let's say we want to have this here a second time for whatever reason and I save it and run the tool again. Now you can see it inserted this clip here twice here and here. Okay, what else could you maybe want to modify? So if you would like to say all these files should be in the, or if you assume that all these files are in the same bin, for example, Let's say I cut this here and say all these files, I assume they should all be in a particular bin and you want to just list the files here without the folder, the full folder path. Then you could create here another variable and call this like maybe root path or base path or something. And we want to set this to a text, namely this one, yeah, to the full fo folder where the, the elements are located. You could make this even nicer uh, by using here uh, a folder like this, 
let me cut this and paste this here. Um, this is effectively exactly the same, except that you now have here a nice file picker where you can also choose a different folder. Okay, but now you, you've stored the root path here. And now, before actually using our footage file path from the spreadsheet, yeah, here the footage file path contains not the entire file path anymore, because in the spreadsheet we now have just the files. So what do we do before doing anything with it? We change it. We say set the footage file path to and we turn it into a combination of three things, namely our root path, then a slash, because after the root path we want to have a slash, and after that we want to have the actual file name, so the footage file path from, from our spreadsheet. So we go here and take the footage file path. So what did we change? We created the root path here, and now here from the spreadsheet only the file name is read. And here we now take the footage file path and um, change it such that before the footage file path read from the from the spreadsheet itself, we append this this root path here. Oh, and I think we made some cut and paste issue here. Use this a mole document. This should be the the right path we want. Let me just do a quick check if now here at the end two more clips are inserted. Yes, yes they are here. So now it's reading from, it's reading those files just from this root path here. And last but not least, if you wonder where do you find this script, you can go here on help and in the automation blocks documentation, we've got here under join the community, access the community library. And you've got the we've got our entire community library on Dropbox, Google Drive, or GitHub. Let's just check it on Dropbox, for example. And you just go here to the um, section sequence, and inside of it you find populate. And here you find append clips from spreadsheet to active sequence in actually two variants. I'm not sure why it's not showing me the full name here. This is a little bit inconvenient, but one of the two is the original one I've just shown you at the beginning. And the second one is this modified version we created right now with this uh, root path option here. Okay, I hope this answered your question. And I hope in particular that this helps you to work much more effective with Premiere Pro with the help of automation blocks.